friends, welcome to Renata's Cookhouse. I'm back with a new recipe, Alu Deem Kosha or Potato Egg Curry. We can have it with rice, pulao, Indian bread like roti, chapati, tandoori roti, naan, paratha, pao or with any bread. It can be served with breakfast, lunch, dinner or snack. It can be served to guests as well as prepared during special occasions. The ingredients we need are mustard oil, about 3 to 4 tablespoons. We can also use other oils of our choice. Chopped tomato, 2 large. Hard boiled eggs, 4. The skin of the eggs are peeled off and put in a bowl. Half boiled potatoes, 2 medium size. We have peeled off the skin of the potatoes. Cut them into four pieces each. Then half boiled the potatoes in water with some salt. I have used one teaspoon of salt. Then I have drained the water and kept it in a bowl. Bay leaf one, dry red chili one, grinded ginger one tablespoon. Grind it with mortar and pestle or hamandista. Grind it garlic 1 tablespoon grind it with mortar and pestle or hamandista finely chopped onion 4 tablespoon green chili 4 sit in the middle coriander seeds 1 tablespoon grind it with mortar and pestle or hamandista cumin seeds 1 tablespoon green cardamom 3 grind it with mortar and pestle or hamandista cinnamon sticks 2 Kashmiri red chili powder 1 teaspoon Kashmir red chili powder is different from the normal red chili powder. I like Kashmir red chili powder because it makes my curry red without making it very hot. If you want your curry to be hot then add more of the Kashmir red chili powder or add more of green chili or add the normal red chili powder salt to taste turmeric 1 teaspoon cloves 3 part foron half teaspoon part foron is a combination of five kinds of spices like mori or fennel seeds radhuni or celery seeds shorshe mustard seeds methi or fenugreek seeds and kalo jeera or nigella seeds of must heat 2 tablespoons of mustard oil in a pan then add the eggs and the potatoes and then add about 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric and 1 4 teaspoon of salt and saute for 3 to 4 minutes in low heat once they turn brown take them off the pan and keep them aside heat 2 to 3 tablespoon of mustard oil in the pan then add the bay leaf, the dry red chili, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, panch foron, jeera or cumin, coriander seeds and saute for 1 to 2 minutes in low heat. Then add the ginger, garlic and onion to the masala and saute till golden brown in low heat for 4 to 5 minutes. Make sure that the ginger and garlic are done well, otherwise the raw smell of them might not be liked by many people. Now add the tomato, the turmeric about 1 teaspoon and Kashmir red chili powder 1 teaspoon and saute in low heat for 7 to 8 minutes. If there is any bigger chunk of a tomato, then mash them with the spatula so that we get a smooth texture now add the potatoes and eggs and mix them well with the masala and saute for five to seven minutes in low heat then add about one and a half cups of water and about one fourth teaspoon of salt mix them well with the masala and cover the pan with a lid and cook for about 
10 minutes in medium heat. After 10 minutes, I have taken the lid off. Our alu dim kosha is looking delicious. It smells wonderful. I'm going to add two green chilies and if required some salt and if required some garam masala powder. Mix well and cook for another 5 to 7 minutes without the lid on so that the excess water evaporates. Our alu dim kosha is ready to be served. I will serve it with two green chilies on top of it. Thanks for watching. I will be back with a different recipe. Don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe button below. You can also follow me in Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye.